Shalom family. Um, I'm so grateful and so thankful that um, I'm able to go ahead and make this video tonight. Um, it's been a long day, but thank you family for providing. And um, I know that there's work to be done. Um, when I got cut off of my first video, I was just getting ready to talk about the occult and being involved with that through Christianity. Believe it or not, a lot of people wouldn't believe that, but they better believe it. But, uh, that's not right. Um, uh, Church of Christ. with my parents being divorced um, and at a certain age I stopped spending time with my father's on the weekends and um, when it got to the point where um, I wanted to spend more time with my friends and you know hang out with my friends and everything and it just wasn't important. Besides that, what I really didn't believe is or even allow myself to think on is the fact that my father didn't want anything to do with us. And he was happy that we didn't want to come and visit on the weekends anymore and things like that. But when I talk about the occult, it, it is... That's the thing that wears me out, that, you know, really gets me, because you think you can do stuff, you think you can, you, you can dabble on the other side and um, be forgiven for that. That ultimately it unleashed um, things in my life that never should have been unleashed and when those things came out the most I did allow me to have visitations from demons and it did allow me to understand what what that was about I don't know all I know is that through the glory of the Most High, uh, these things have been revealed. These things have been uncovered. These things have been pulled out. They've been wrung out. Um, this process of getting to know um, the family, the kingdom family, um, I don't know all my life I've always known that there was a call I knew the most high before I got here so I knew that there was a call on my life um, I said before I was peculiar since I was a baby peculiar since the day I was born um, and the struggle to get to the truth of what the most high is leading me to do has been a lifelong of long suffering through many 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 aspects and my first part of my video is a I mean my first part of my testimony was in written essay form and I talk about being the woman with the issue of blood I'm not anymore I got my healing for that um, he placed his hand on me but I did not receive that healing until I rejected the name of Jesus Christ and renounced it completely. I may not have known what the Father's name, the true name of the Father was, but I knew it wasn't Jesus. And um, he moved me away from that. And uh, after a lifelong of being a good Christian girl, um, 
I remained a virgin until I was 31 years old. And then that was a mistake. Um, but it happened. Uh, I don't have a husband. And I've always wanted one. I've always wanted to be a mom. It's just never happened. And I think it all of that comes from, you know, being raised by a feminist mother, feminist narcissist mother, who uh, she nurtured, she gave love, she took care of us. We didn't miss for anything. But on the other side of that, you know, there was you know, retributions that you had to pay for that love. You know, you had to agree with what she said. You had to do what she's, you know, things the way she wanted it to be done. Because if you deviated any way whatsoever, left or right, it wasn't going to be good enough if it wasn't her way. And so I became a liar and a people pleaser. And somebody that, you know would do things for people because I, you know, I thought it was the right thing to do in my heart. But uh, people oftentimes took advantage of that kindness, took it for weakness. But when you grow up with a mother who is selfish, you learn... I put it in my own heart, and the most I put it in my heart, I'm not going to be that way. I'm not going to be that like that. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to treat people like that. But as far as a purge for the things... <clears throat> I've forgiven my mom. I'm not in contact with her right now because it's the best thing for me. Um, she's not going to change. Me, my mom and I were best friends um, just because I, I wanted to honor my mother. I wanted to, you know, do um, treat her with respect and kindness, but she didn't do it. She didn't give me the same thing. So um, it took me, you know, 45 years to get to the point to where I could you know, stand up to my mom and be like, you know what, you, I'm not, I don't have to take your ridicule for the way that I live my life or because I do not believe in the same things that you believe in. Um, but my mom and I's relationship was destroyed over the name um, Jesus and that's it's kind of ironic that it would be that but my mother is in her 70s and um, she flat out told me last year when I decided that I wanted to have no contact with her um, that she would never the only name that she would ever accept is Jesus and no matter what anybody ever said she that was what she believed and she didn't want to hear anything else about any other names that was that So, to me, I know it makes a difference. And um, I've recently just been studying and trying to figure out the name, um, the, you know, correct name of the father. And um, I got some information today on that. Uh, for myself that would uh, bring me even closer to being in the light of Ahaya, Asher, Ahaya, and Yahasha. Um, but I've been through all of the names. I've been through, I started at Jesus. I went to Yeshua. It went to Yah Yahusha. Then it went to Yahuwah. And then it went to Yahweh, to Yahweh Shai, uh, all those, and.
they all made sense for the the time and for what they mean but um getting to the truth uh the father only the father could bring me into the truth and he has brought me into the truth so i can say glory to the most high for that um I don't know what else to say. I've forgiven my mother. I've forgiven my father. I've forgiven the people that brought me into uh, religion, which was my family completely, and my church family. I forgive them, all of them. Um, I'm also grateful and thankful that if I hadn't have started there, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, you know, I want to release every single bit of all of that is left. Any lingering, anything that's in the darkness or corners of my heart, anywhere. Um, I'm putting it out there right now because... Um, I know that the Most High has a call for me in my life. I know that the kingdom has some work for me to do. I don't know all the full details. I know some of the things, and the things that I do know um, are beautiful. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm not going back. I can't go back to the JC. I never will. Um, I'm only moving full speed ahead. Um I'm thankful and grateful that the Father has led me in this direction to the family, that um, I'm trusting, you know, wholeheartedly, 100%, um, that we are on the right mission and on the right track. And I'm grateful to be included. And, um, you know, I have I have some things to offer. I work with children. Um I, 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 I'm a cook. I like to cook. I like food. Um, I have, um, I know about herbs and medicines and natural healing and essential oils and different things like that. Um, uh, um, uh, I, both sides of my family were, uh, farmers. So, you know, I've always had a love for being, for working the earth and planting in the ground and, you know, getting a harvest. So, um, I think that's where we're headed. So shalom family. Good night.